Which continues now as the war in Ukraine continues. People back here at home, they're working to help those in need. One Newtown girl is spending most of her free time raising money to help people there. Channel 3 Amateurs News reporter Aaron Edwards has that story. I want them to feel better. Maya Gainison is making it her mission to help the people of Ukraine any way she can. I saw in the news with my mom and I saw that people of Ukraine were hiding in basements, they were the kids were crying and they were, and the kids were literally living, leaving their daddies. And they Maya and her family have close ties to Ukraine. Her mom, Olivia, grew up in one of the Soviet republics and she still has family in Ukraine. Most of them are safe, but it's, you know, it's, uh, um, it's just heartbreaking just every day. I decided, how can I help? So I thought, what makes me feel better when I'm scared? I thought like toys. Maya used leftover Christmas money to buy toys to send to Ukraine. I put together packages with a squishy, crayons, um, a notebook. Each package also has a handwritten note. The note says, it says all about me and then at the end it says a symbol. It says, I hope this runs soon. But that's not all. Maya also wanted to help by donating money, so she decided to make another fun toy to sell outside of the Everwonder Children's Museum. I made some and it looks like this. I um, packaged it and I made it. I had a little help. I raised $350 and I sent it to a part church in Poland where the refugees are. The fundraising doesn't stop there. When I went to drop off the toy packages, I was like, is there anything else I can do? I asked those people and they were like, yes. So I was like, how? They said what people need right now is um, medical supplies. In order to raise money for medical supplies, Maya and her mom started a GoFundMe page. For a link to the page, you can head to our website and Channel 3 News app. I really hope this one soon because I just can't imagine how, the, how these kids are going through this. Aaron Edwards, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Aaron, for that story. One Middletown mom, meanwhile, is making...